Oops. Hello. Hello, teacher. Ja. Kun je dat even uitstrekken? Ah. Professor, na, nice to meet you again. Yeah, nice yeah. to see you. <laughs> Twenty-four evenings. Ah, just a moment. Eleven o'clock in the PM. I must go. Yeah. I, I'm waiting Cinderella, maybe. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Okay. Yeah. Thank maybe. you. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. All right. Seven. Uh, How are you? Yes. Well, oh, thank you. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, Liliana, we've not seen you in ages. <laughs> yes. Good to see you again. How have you been, Gollum? Yeah, good. I'm just a bit tired this morning. Yes? <laughs> yeah. A lot of work? Mm, yeah, quite a lot. Right. <laughs> I'll show you a picture while, uh, yeah. while we're waiting for people to come. It's not my dog, but when I lived with my mum, we used to have a dog that was like this. Yes. Had less teeth, though. But I'll show you a picture. Um, <laughs> let me just put on the screen share. Yes, because I see you a little bit dark. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, this is your dog? <laughs> no, it's not, it's, it's, it's not my dog. But we had a dog that was like the same. It had, it what breed is he? What breed is your dog? <sighs> Well, this dog, this dog's dead, but I, we used to have it. It's a uh, Chinese custard. Uh, Do you know? Mm -hmm. They they don't have any hair Chinese on their body. Custard. Ah, uh, no, I I I don't know about uh, this breed. But anyway, it's a beautiful dog. <laughs> I thought they were quite weird. Yeah, look, I I show you. Look, they look strange. All right. Oh, this is it. There we are. Chinese custard. Look, can you see? Ah, yes. No. They have like no hair on. They have hair on their head, but no hair on their body. Uh -huh. So they're quite strange looking animals. Yeah. <laughs> and how is uh male or female? Um, we had two, and they were female. One was like white, and the other was like a grey one, but. Yeah, they're quite strange animals, how they behave as well. Ah, but this is beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I think they look like pigs a bit. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> in, in, in Colombia, I think uh, it's, it's not common to see this uh, breed here. Yeah, Maybe yeah I've, seen, I've seen one before here. Uh -huh. Right. Okay, so I'll just get you all to introduce yourselves to start with. Um, so, um, Dominic. Hello, sorry for being late. Um, very new okay. to this Colingo stuff. Okay, uh, do you want to introduce yourself for uh, everybody? Um, yeah, sure. Um, my name is Dominic. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Austria. Okay, thank you very much for coming. Uh, which uh, city are you from? Um, Jena. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Next, uh, Jagdish. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to introduce yourself for everybody? Uh, I'm uh, Jagdish from India. Okay, uh, whereabouts in India are you from? Uh, I'm from uh, Mumbai. Mumbai. Okay. Right, thank you much for coming. Mumbai. Uh, Mumbai. Next, yeah, Mumbai. Okay, and next, uh, Liliana. Yeah. Okay, I'm Liliana from Colombia. Um, what else? <laughs> uh, I'm happy to be here. Uh, and what else? <laughs> All right, okay, thank you, Rich. Is, that, is this your dog as well in the picture? It's a different uh, no. dog. It's a different dog, no. Uh, she's, uh, she's one of my, of. Uh, Max of the let me think. She's one of the best uh, Max friends. Uh, she's uh, a pet of uh, one of my neighbor, and um, uh, it's a golden re retriever. Yeah. Uh, 
and she, uh, her name is Sacha. Sa uh, Sancha. No, let me write it in the chat. Sacha. That's Sacha. Uh huh. Ah. Uh, one of, uh, of his best friends, and uh, she's um, uh, I think uh, eight eight months, and Max uh, a white white terrier. Yeah. Uh, and he's. Ah, uh, uh, she is one of Max's friends. Yes. Ah, uh, uh, I see. But she's uh, taller, <laughs> taller than him. But, yeah, uh, you can see she's bigger. <laughs> yes, and uh, they are. Uh, they get along very well. They play, All right. They play. Okay. Uh, Yes, Tom. Uh, do, do you have more than one dog, or do you just have one? No, one. Max, the white Ah, uh, yeah. The West. Okay. Uh -huh. Only one. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, uh, and again, you have two windows open. I don't know why. I don't know what happened here. You should be able to show answer. Okay. Well, do you want to introduce yourself, uh, everybody? Uh, my name is Singdang. I come from Vietnam, uh, but I live in America, and I work in uh, I work in in uh, Walt Disney World. Okay. Well, where do you live? What area? What uh, Orlando. Oh. Um, okay. And is that your car in the picture? Uh, that's a picture, not my car. No, it's not your car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. Okay, and Servet. Oh yes. I'm Servet. I'm from Turkey. I'm 23 years old. Yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Servet, we had another music lesson yesterday. And do you yes. know Elmer? From, he's Brazilian. Mm -hmm. Well, he had um, a guitar and everything to sing with as well. <laughs> oh. So he's playing songs with his guitar too. <laughs> right, oh. Okay, well, thank you very much. As uh, Suad? Yeah. Yeah, do you um, want? Yes, no problem. So I'm Suad. Suad, with the sound in Arabic, don't sit up, okay? <laughs> so I'm Suad, I'm 27 years, I'm from Algeria, and I'm a I'm master's student. Of what are you studying? Uh, ESP, English for Specific Purposes. What are the specific purposes? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's right. Business English. This is what I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, uh, well, thank you, Rich, for coming. Uh, and also, uh, Leila. Yes. Hi again. I am Leila from Azerbaijan. That's all. Okay. Thank you very much. So this class is um, business what English. I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, well, I have some ideas what I'm going to cover in this class, but it's the, I'm just looking at this thing, um, are there any questions in particular people have before we start? Um, Like any questions in particular to do with this subject? Which subject? Sure. Dogs or business? <laughs> well, either. Or the business of dogs. <laughs> I, I still get that picture, haven't I, and the thing. <laughs> Which, one you want to sell? <laughs> Which one do you want to sell? Which one do you want to sell? Quite weird dogs, aren't they? Have you, do you get these in your country as well? These dogs? weird dogs. No, dogs? no, the dogs like this. Uh, I'm looking for, uh, for. Actually, we don't have the culture of loving dogs. People here, dogs are are in this. In this so we don't, generally, people don't like dogs here. No. No, no I haven't seen Max Brit breed there. <laughs> All of them are uh, the same uh, breed. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I searched for the uh, same breed. This is your dog, isn't it? Uh, it's a West. This is Eliana's dog. Yes. <laughs> <Not that. laughs> it's very sweet. The same as him. Yeah. yeah. It's very sweet, but mm, super active. He's super active. He he uh, demand uh, a lot of energy from me. And after class, I have to um, 
to take Max for a walk. Yeah. <laughs> I want it. Yes. I'm a dog. Do, does anybody else have a dog? I do have a dog. What sort of dog is it? Um, it's called an Havaneser. How do you spell it? Havaneser. Um, H A. Yeah. A. So V A. Yeah. Yeah. V A. N E S E. I like that. Havaneser. I haven't heard of it before. This is it. Yeah, this too. Like that one. <laughs> yeah. Is it, is <laughs> that it white or, the best. or black and white? It's white. white. Just right. like that one. Beautiful. That is a, mm. how, how big is it? Quite small. Yeah, it's quite small, like a cat. <laughs> 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 Apparently, it's the national dog of Cuba. Yeah, Chinese uh, feet um, warming dogs. That was the usual purpose of yeah. them. It's quite hairy though. It says, it says it's from Cuba, so it's quite a hairy dog. Yeah, farm. it is. Mm -hmm. So such a hot country. Yeah. Sevet, do you have a dog? No. Do you all have any animals? Dogs, all the dogs in the street are mine. Ah. <laughs> Good servant. I like a lot of dogs. Okay, and oh, I've got Susu. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you, do you have. Is it Susu or Soso? -so? And the first one. Susu. Susu. Yeah. yeah. Does it spell. Why do you spell it like wrong? <laughs> On the thing. Like this one. The same. Susu. -so. Yeah, but if you. Because I mean, your name. What? Well, your name is Arabic? Yes. Presumably. So, here you spell it. This is spelled using the English alphabet, yeah. So I mean, so so. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you convert it to an English alphabet, this is so so. Like like how Servet says it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. <laughs> you just spell it to confuse everybody. I think so so. Yeah. If you pronounce it so so, it'd be like that. <laughs> I think so so is yeah. better. I will keep saying so so. <laughs> yeah, so, -so. <laughs> so so. If you let me. If you let me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if you say, um, how are you? You can say so so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how are you? <laughs> so so. It's like, okay. Uh, like that, actually. We've no S on the end there. <laughs> right. Do you have what? any pets? Mm. No, I'm afraid of dogs and cats. <laughs> You're afraid of them? Why? Yes, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Whenever I see them in the street, I run the opposite direction. Oh, yeah, but they chase you. Yes. Generally, yes. <laughs> generally, generally, the Arab culture does not have. Uh, this uh, this kind of raising up dogs, we don't have this kind of. So we don't generally Arabs uh, don't like dogs. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. they have they have dogs, they have don't they? Yeah, yeah they but have. generally, yeah, generally, yeah, generally speaking, it's not like the American and Western cultures. It's something um, we don't we don't generally, yeah, generally speaking, we don't like them. <laughs> yeah, but, but although they, they look very beautiful in the pictures, our dogs are very ugly. <laughs> There's a lot of dogs that are from um, we don't have dogs Arab like countries, though, seen, aren't they? Like this seen. dog, uh, a Saluki. Which one? There's a lot of like hounds and like they are dogs. ugly. <laughs> They're not ugly, like this dog. But your <laughs> <laughs> this <Yeah>. picture is. <laughs> <laughs> this picture is very ugly. <laughs> <Saluki>. <laughs> These dogs. They're not beautiful <laughs> like yours. <laughs> There's a lot of like dogs that run very fast that are from obviously Afghanistan is not an Arab country, but I mean the, they have dogs like this sort of thing. Uh -huh. mm. So there's a lot of dogs that are from Arab countries. There's what's the dog that's from Egypt? 
Oh, this is it. Uh, Egypt? Yeah, f how do you spell it though? Oh, Pharaoh Hound. This Doug? This is from Egypt? Yeah, I know. Like this? Do you, you not think it's a beautiful dog? Or not? <laughs> No. You no see, they're very really angry. No, uh, a big ears. Nice. They have a big ears. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they all do. I think it's because it's a US thing. They do it with like Dobermans and stuff, and they stick their ears up. Uh -huh. But maybe <laughs> all these pictures are the same. Kula, can you look at this this dog? A Turkish dog. A, a Turkish species of dog. Yeah, what's it? Take breed. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, what's it called? Are you Here is the link. Link is in the chat box. Ah, let me have a look. Oh, it's a long link. Is this a search? I don't think it'll work if it's a search. It normally just goes back to the. Um, I'm trying to. Up here. Uh. <laughs> Bless you. Bless Bless you. You. <laughs> right, um, I can't Can you just tell me what the breed is, and I'll search for it in here. I think it's easier. Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm writing. Oh no. Like this. Ah, oh, so slow. No. <coughs> they are huge. All right. Um so Have you written it in the chat because I can't see it? Yes, only the yes. they breed and serve it. Ah, uh, I, I wrote it. Congo, Congo. So, what, the whole thing? Sivas? Sivas, Congo, Kupi. Anyways, they are not so cute, but they are huge. Really big. That's why I said... Ah, look. I said this is a good picture. Yeah. <laughs> they big, yeah. Uh, It's another one. Uh, the big dog. When I was younger, yeah, uh, around our house, uh, <laughs> there were a few, a few dogs. Yeah, belong to us. Interestingly, whenever they see me, they they were they used to chase me. <laughs> <laughs> Try to eat you. <laughs> Ten hundred meters, two hundred meters away, they see me and they immediately. <laughs> what? Because they wanted, they were happy to see you, or they wanted to like attack you? <laughs> yes. I I couldn't sort it out now. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you the didn't way that, that they show that, and uh, they love you. They are yeah. so happy when they see uh, yeah. their own owners. Big, but what what do they use them for? Well, I I don't know. In fact, it uh, it wasn't belong to anyone. Just they were like such weird dogs, but they are they were always around our homes. The, uh, the our neighborhoods used to give them some food, so yeah. they were always around there. Uh, apparently they're like shepherd dogs, sheep dogs. Mm, yes, yes, like this. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see. Ah, uh, uh, yes, they are huge, oh, but they are beautiful. Uh, mm. But now, when I see a dog, I don't, I don't <laughs> see. <him. laughs> I stay like I, I don't afraid. Yeah. Is that really yes. Ah, before you were afraid of dogs. Yes, of course, but I don't. I act like I don't afraid of them. They they come up. They come up to me. They smell me and they go again. 
And all of them are white or they have different colors? Usually they are white. I didn't see another colors. Mm, beautiful. Like... Oh, this is what they're for. Can yeah, you read like... that so that... Which? Read the, the writing. Do you see it? Is it on the screen share still? No. Mm -hmm. no. No. We don't see this. Oh. What can you see? Me. No. Um, no. Picture. The picture is this, uh, uh, I'll put it back on again. Can you see it now? Yes. 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 Yeah. This bit explains what they do. Uh, ah, they are Should I read? Out loud. See it? Yes. yes, I see. Yeah. Should I read or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read it for a second. Okay. All over us, Asiatic Turkey, large, strong dogs are used by the shepherds to protect their sheep. The dog's role is to watch for the approach of danger, which can be in the form of predatory wolves, jackals, eagles, or even bears and wild cats and to place themselves between that thread and the flock. The dogs are also used to escort the sheep on their frequent treks to and from water and pasture. A task that an experienced dog will sometimes perform without human supervision. The dogs that perform these tests are called chobankopekleri. Shepherd dogs, dog, dogs, shepherd dogs. This is not the name of a. a bad and you move a little bit. Yeah, you have to scroll, scroll down uh, the article, please. That is not the name of a breed. It simply describes the work they do. Under this broad heading are a number of specific types of dog which could reasonably be regarded as breeds, since over the centuries they have developed into uniform populations breeding to type, assisted both by human intervention selected for particular working characteristics and by geographical isolation. <laughs> Pro <laughs> protecting them from outside influences. The Kangal dog of central Turkey is one of these breeds. The Akbash dog of western Turkey is another, and other regional breeds have been identified. A western parallel to this situation would be the use of the term Koli or Setter to describe a work-related type of dog rather than a specific breed. A Welsh Collie, for example, is different from a Border Collie. A Gordon Settler is different from an English Settler, yet their working characteristics are similar. At the same time, it must be acknowledged that there are a great many Turkish Shepherd dogs of no particular type, working effectively as livestock, Guardians, again, just as there are efficient collie cross dogs working for Western farmers. In the east and south of the country in particular, there are, civil po there are still populations of nomadic herdsmen using dogs, yuruk or göçebe köpekleri, which also usually tall and strong, are very mixed in type and whose ancestors may have come from, for example, Syria, Georgia, or Afghanistan. I think we'll stop there. I think you're right. Um, what is the language between brackets? You what? What is the language between brackets? Turkish. Oh. Yeah. That's why I serve it to read it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and That's so, right. 
So he's yes, from Liana. Turkey. Yeah. I, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, but I, um, I saw what you wrote yesterday uh, on Facebook about the classes. Yeah, yeah that's, I didn't. <laughs> so he's happier now. <laughs> Isn't. Yeah. And and do you mean that uh, you do you think that uh, English classes before are better than now? You don't like the, the no classes, or because you say no. that there there, there is uh, there it's a lot of grammar in classes now something like no, that. No no no. What I mean is that basically now we have uh, we have a curriculum right and we the teachers have to explain all the rules in one hour so usually teachers are speaking and we are listening just a few seconds we say maybe just little things little sentences we cannot find time to speak enough so uh, it turns out like a typical language schools you know you go just listen to teachers because there is no enough time to uh, there is no enough time for students to speak. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can find uh, many topics in classes, uh, deb debates and uh, pronunciation and uh, reading, speaking. Yeah, number no, of no, them no, are not I, enough. Yes, I understand. It depends on the teacher, I think. It I understand. Depends on the teacher. Yes, yeah. but they have to follow uh, Colingo's uh, background. Uh, those, uh, I, th I think you check uh, the classes and you will have uh, some classes for pronunciation, uh -huh. grammar and uh, reading and writing. Yeah, that's and why, uh, yeah but I, I agree in certain way with that, with Sorbet. We need to talk in classes uh, and to discuss uh, the topic or article that we uh, read in classes. Oh, yeah. we have the uh, conversation class. That means you can uh, discuss about the topic. Yeah, do you know, you still get to do quite a lot of speaking though, don't you, in the all the classes, like, I don't know what the other classes are right, like, but I mean, you get to do like reading and stuff, which is like controlled practice. Yes. And in the reading, I mean, you have to use words that you perhaps wouldn't uh, normally use. So, I mean, there are pros and cons to it. I just tried to find a word in here that I thought was spelled wrong. Like, in Turkish. Oh, I was going to ask you about Because there's a word... Ah, that's what... Isn't this word? Isn't it spelled with... Isn't the S with, like, you know, the thing underneath? Like... Because... No. Uh, in Turkish, we have a little bit line under S. Yeah, that's what I mean. Isn't it, like... Well, I can type it. I can type the C that has the same. Like, doesn't it have this bit underneath? Oh. Yes, they has. Uh, I uh, think they, they wrote like the... that underneath. On no. this S or not? Yes, like this. It, sh it should be this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like that. Because, because the S with that is like the sh sound, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. And what is the no? The S like this is just a normal S or what? This S with. Uh, it sounds that, like this. Yeah, but I mean, just the S. It's like in English, isn't it? Y yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. I thought it was spelled wrong on here. So it's all the Turkish characters. Uh, they don't wrote. Uh, they didn't wrote. They didn't write. I think the. Uh, they didn't use Turkish letters by when writing when they are writing this paragraph. All, for example, when they are saying köpek, which means dog. Yeah. They didn't. They used this. I think it should be this, with two. Yeah, the two dots. Yes, two dots. What's that called in Turkey? I know it's it's called an umlaut in German, but I don't know what it's called in. Uh, we say ö. Uh. 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 The letter ö. Uh, yeah. With dots. Without dots, it's called o. Oh. How many letters are in Turkish? There's quite a lot, aren't there? No, just we have, I think, uh, just letters with dots, O, and we have O with dots, called O, uh, S with dots, uh, just a few more, maybe four or five more uh, letters. That's so like 30. 
I, I should. You don't I know. Have count, I have to count it. Just, <laughs> just a few more. Not so much. All uh, right. I can never remember how many letters are in English. If there's twenty-five or twenty-six or twenty-four, I think there's twenty-six, aren't there? <laughs> Uh, it's 26, yeah. Yeah, 26, yeah. It's not really something that you need to use, though, is it? So I suppose you forget. Uh, we got 31. Pardon? 31. <laughs> 31? Yeah. yeah. What are the... There's that one that's F and Z together, isn't there? Um, Sorry? There's the le In German, there's the letter that's like F and Z, which looks like a B. Line. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wh what are the other additional ones? Um, let me write them down. Those are the additional words. Uh, uh, letters. Yeah, the ones with the umlauts on top. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. How do you uh, pronounce these um, vowels and letters? Uh, Dominic? Yeah. How do you pronounce these uh, letters? Um, the first is U, the second one is E, then it's U and S. S? S. The last one is just a, a, a more, um, a stronger S. Uh. Yeah. Is it, isn't this one the one that's the same as the F and Z together? Um, or double S? Double S. It's double S. Uh, yeah, isn't it? I thought some F and Z, like F the actual Z. letter, is the combination of F and Z. I don't know of such a letter. <laughs> I think from like, like, uh, from like old German sort of thing. I, I'm not, I don't know. It's your language, but I mean, I was under the impression that it was F and Z put together. That it looks like F and Z, kind of. I don't know. Well. We I need more imagination for that one. <laughs> yeah, that no, we'll use. I demonstrate. I'll, um, I do it in a little bit when paint opens. But um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, uh, we're we're not even started the class yet, and we've had thirty-five minutes already. But ho hopefully, server is. Alla, it's open now. Hopefully, server has been happy that we we didn't do the lesson. <laughs> right. So let let me put this on, and I'll show you what I mean. Can you see my screen? No. Yes. 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 No. Right. So this is F, and this is Z. Mm -hmm. So some people write Z like that as well, don't they? Like a three. Oh. So if you put the two together, and um, like it kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Mm. You see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, mm. and it's this. Z. So that's I think it is F and Z mm. together. But okay, but we use it. We use it in another way. We use it like for double S. Double S. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what's it called? For that one. Um, sharp S translated. Sharp S. Yeah. Sharp S. Sharp S. <laughs> what's the other one? Like smooth F S. Do you have a smooth S as well? Nope. <laughs> this is the regular one. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so this class in the 20 minutes we have left, uh, we can have, well, I have a few options of things we can look at. We can look at, um, I'll type them, writing emails, uh, interview, Techniques um, or CVs applying for well, job applications. That's what I'm going to write. Job applications. So these are a few areas I have. I think we can look at. What what would you see to go? What is most useful for you? Interview techniques. I'm yes. just in interview techniques. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, anybody else want to vote? We're going to go for the interview techniques. Yes, I, I will go for interview. interview techniques. Yeah. Well, I mean, interview techniques, and we're going for less questions that are most common. 
in. They'll probably be quite similar to the um, Austrian ones, I'd have thought, but I know they're quite different to ones they'd ask in Colombia. Right. You get some quite weird questions in Colombia. So, well, they're probably not weird for you, being as they're what you've had, but they're weird for me. When people, in Colombia, they like ask you about your family and uh -huh, all that yeah. sort of thing. Like yes. in the UK, they maybe ask you a few questions, but they won't go into great, great detail. I had one job interview, and they like asked me like what the what the profession of like every single member of my family is, how old are they, what level of studying do they have, and that you never get that in the UK. <laughs> so. What well to start with, what what sort of questions do you think you are most likely to get in your interviews? In for example, in the UK, being as I've never been to the US, so I don't know what you get. Why should I hire you? I think so. Why should I hire you? Hire. Yeah. Yeah. Age. Yeah, yeah. Is higher. that higher? Yes. Like that. Okay. What, what else? Let's get some examples and we'll go through them. Why did you leave your last job? Uh, what are your um, uh, weakness and strengths? Yes. Are you interested with this job? What can I do for me? Maybe in this job. How maybe how can I help me? How can you help me to make more money? <laughs> yeah. No, it's a good run. I mean, like most businesses want to make money, don't you? Yes. So how <laughs> can you? But right, they probably say, how can you help the business uh, be more profitable? Yes. You all know what profitable means. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't necessarily mean money, but it normally means money. Okay. What were some of the other examples you said? Because I couldn't type fast enough. You said a few more. No, no, it was same. Just change the change, uh, change the sentence. Uh, so why should I hire you? Why did you leave your last position? That probably is better. What are your qualifications? Yeah, qualifications. Do you think they'd ask that in a job interview? Maybe. Uh, can, uh, do you say overtime? Like, uh, uh, maybe, maybe you are working. 8 a.m. through 5 p.m. They will. They may want you to. Sometimes you work oh, until yeah. 8 a.m. Can you do this? How do you say overtime? Or yeah. Ask you if you are willing, but to be like flexible, to be mm -hmm. flexible. Yeah. Able to work in a team or you are able to to work part time or full time job. Uh, full -time. Yeah, full time. I think. Right, and so, educational background. So yeah, educational background. That's like qualification, isn't it? Educational. Oh, okay, okay. The ability to work in a team. Yeah. Let me. Uh, hang on. Parts. Are you a team player? Time. Full. Time. Uh, uh, are you? A team player. Yeah. And uh, what's the opposite question they might ask? Or do you like to to work uh, alone? Uh, alone or? How how would they put it most? How do you put that in a positive aspect? I mean, what, you prefer to work on your own is not a bad thing, but I mean to make it sound more positive. So it's quite neutral. Do you like to, to work uh, in a team? Or, with or a do team? you enjoy? I think they, pro 
The best way to word it positively is can you work independently? Uh, independently. Mm. Because right. yeah. if, they, if they ask can you work in a team and you say no I prefer to work on my own that's quite negative I think and yeah. if you say um, do you like to work on your own that's kind of neutral but if can you work independent Independently. Yes. Um, that's quite. That's a positive question, isn't it? I can work independently from. Um, yeah. Oh, from okay. what? From my bus or independent? Uh, or, on your or, own. It means can you work on your own, doesn't it? Can you think? For, yes. Can you think for yourself? Okay. D um, Dominic, did you have something to say? Um. In regards to to how to how to formulate sentence or yeah. another example, anything. anything. I thought I thought you were like waving at me. Um, no. Trying I to get the attention. All right. I was trying before with the educational um, background, but it was including qualifications already. Yeah. Yeah. So, are there any other examples people have? Oh, question? well, they Maybe. usually ask about your relatives. Relatives. So, what do they ask? Um, like the profession of your of your um, parents, or I don't know. Maybe your social life. Yeah, that's good. Parents, um, social life. So, what would they ask about your social life? Yeah. Do you, maybe what kind of hobbies do you have? Are you social? Tell me or about. Not? I think tell me about yourself, uh, uh, achievements and skills. Yeah, so that's a quite a common question. They say, tell me about yourself. Was it, what did you say, something and achievements? Achievements and yeah. skills. Uh, achievements, I just put achievements. I E V. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Achievements, skills. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I put the wrong word. Hang on. Achieve. There, there we are. Like that. Achievements. That's right, isn't it? Yes. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, Can yeah. You? It's probably right. Anything else? What is Can you? Okay, go on. Can you work under. Underline? Under under pressure. No, no. Uh, time about time. Deadline, deadline. Oh. oh, can you work to deadlines? Can you work to deadlines? And can you work under pressure as well, isn't it? Uh -huh. Can you work pressure. under pressure? Right. Do you have any more? Or should we what, start going? What, what is your loan branch? Objective. Ah, oh, yeah. So they they would say like, uh, tell me where you want to be. In, well, yeah. I'll just put you what you said. What t your long range objective? Uh -huh. Yeah. Long. I've never heard somebody actually use those no, words. Your yeah, long range. Well, in Colombia, they ask me that question. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, in that wording. Uh -huh. I mean, I've heard the question, but not. I've never heard it using them words. What is your long range objective? It'd be quite a weird way to say it. <laughs> Perspective maybe. And how do you see yourself in five years? That that is the same question, isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. it's more or less the same question. That's how they normally say it. How do you see yourself in five years? Is the same as the one you just said. How do uh, you see yourself in five years? Yes. Okay. Do we have any other ones, or should we go through them? Um, Asan, do you have? We're just going over questions that you think would be common in an interview. What do you know about the company? What do you know about the company? Yeah. yeah. Anything else? I think we should. 
in Turkey, maybe they want you to do uh, different jo different jobs uh, when when other uh, employees are not at work. All maybe, right. So maybe you are janitor, uh, and the person who brings tea yeah. is uh, on holiday. Maybe they want. They may want you to bring teas for them, so, maybe. All right. So, like, are you willing to help out in other areas? Of, are you yes willing to help out in other areas of the company? Are you willing to help out in other areas of the company? Okay. So we've got a few questions, and now we'll have a look at them. It's quite a lot, actually. <laughs> right. The yes. first question. Um, what should we look at first? All right. So we'll go through the ones that I don't really think they'd ask you that much about. So how you said uh, qualifications and educational background. You know. Uh, background noise. Yeah, I've de muted them. So, uh, qualifications and educational backgrounds. Is do you think you get a lot of questions about that? Yeah, yeah. I don't think you get that much. I mean, because normally, when you apply for a job, unless you just walk into a like a business and that, then you go and talk to the manager straight away. The, um, you'll probably write all your qualifications on, they'll either be in your CV that you'll have sent to them or they'll be on the application. So they'll already have looked at the, um, like, what qualifications you have. And if they don't like your qualifications, they're probably not going to, like, call you in for the interview. So, and in my experience, They'll talk to you about it like a little bit, but it won't be a main like focus of the of the actual interview. So, is it different where you are? I think it it depends on the interviewer, maybe. Yeah. Some people may ask just to talk. Some people, like you said, they 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 already see your CV and they know your qualifications. Yeah. I mean, like I said, the only time they ask me about my qualifications is if I just like walk into a place and I get like a job like straight away before before they've seen my CV or anything. Then obviously they'd ask me about my qualifications. But usually you'll have sent them your CV and they'll have looked at your qualifications and that would be one of the reasons why they ask you for a, a job interview so they already know how qualified you are so I don't think that's as important and also it's not something you can really change because like, the qualifications are the one bit that is like hard fact and you can't really adapt it too much so what about oh, this is a good one this is very common as well, and I think it's quite hard uh, when I find it. Um, it's the tell me about yourself one. Oh, yeah, tell me about yourself. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this? Mm -hmm. This is a very common question. Yeah. I think uh, you have to, to tell a little about your family and then uh, about uh, your, uh, your uh, skills or uh, what do you want for... Uh, this job or your expectations or why do you yeah. want this job? Yeah, well, yeah, but tell me uh, about yourself. Do you think you'd say why you wanted the job in that one? No, just name, name, first name, last name, martial status. No, but I think you have to say Personal something about why you are interested in this uh, vacancy or in this uh, job. I mean, do, does anybody else have anything? Uh, yeah, maybe personal information about yourself. But uh, these informations are already on your TV yeah. or 
there are another questions uh, for this. Well, you don't yeah. have to answer these questions twice. I think maybe the teacher uh, Kevin said we she had I watched it. She, he said when they ask you this question, just focus on experience or education qualifications. Mm -hmm. Don't they don't care your uh, family or. Uh, the, the important one for them is your qualification. What they need you, what, why they, why do they want to hire you? Give them a reason when they ask you this question. Right. Well, I mean, well, what do you think, Dominic? Well, I think they would um, ask you about special skills, but other than that, if you send your CV, they won't ask you much. Yeah, but I mean, when you, they ask you, tell me about yourself, what do they expect you to say? Um, well, I think they would expect to, well, um, uh, I really don't know how to, how to describe it. Um, oh, that's okay. Well, I mean, I think... I would disagree with all of you, except for the first bit that Servit said. I think the first bit you said is right, but the um, so who said about Sarad? You said about your marital status and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean that would be as Servit said. That's already on your CV and stuff. I I don't think. I mean, if you had children or something, you might mention it. But I don't think it's it'd be a necessarily be a big part. Of it. And in, I, in, yeah, in, in America, I think it's illegal to ask, "Are you married? Do you have children?" This kind of questions in interviews. Yeah, probably is. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, really I think that. Great. <laughs> yeah, they have loads of stupid laws like that, apparently. Okay. But <laughs> the. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and at the same time, you don't want to be like regurgitating like exactly what it says in your CV. So if you know the top of the CV, you have like um, you have like a personal statement bit, which is like the introduction, and it tells them about yourself. And so, also, so how many language uh, do you know? Ask. Me. Uh, no, Protection. in the introduce CV. Uh, well, Depending on the vacancy. Oh, how many? La I th yeah, yeah. It depends on it's if it's relevant. I mean, basically, you don't want to just regurgitate what's written on your CV. So you've got to make it like more In interesting. So, and yeah. I think, um, Servet, you said just about saying about. Is it, where's the echo coming from? The. Ah, uh, there it is. The, um, it's not just the education that's important. I mean, most of the stuff that is on your CV, yes. I would say that you. Well, let me, let me put it in a way. Personally, I talk more about the experience and also like hobbies and interests. If you've got, you want to talk about the stuff that's most interesting to them. So if you have really interesting hobbies, um, you can talk more about your hobbies. Because I think the main thing in the interview is like they've already decided that you've got enough um, um, qualifications, otherwise they wouldn't have called you to the interview. And they probably think your experience is all right as well, because that's also written on your CV. And if yes. they didn't think you had any experience, they wouldn't call you to the interview. So you've got to make the that the experience interesting for the and hobbies. Yeah, f yeah. So you've got to make it interesting for the interviewer, and yeah. if that's talking about your hobbies, if it's something you can talk about, like confidently, because obviously yeah. they want to see that you're confident in what you're doing. Because yeah. if you're really, obviously they expect you to be nervous because it's an interview, but if you're right, like, really unsure about what you're doing, it's going to create a, a bad impression. For yeah. they'll think you that's like your personality, and if you're not sure what you're doing, you're more likely to make mistakes. Obviously, they don't want somebody who's just going to mess up in in their job, do they? So I think I don't think it's always. 
as yeah. important what you're talking about, providing you're making it interesting and that you can adapt it to like so you can adapt your hobbies to be relevant to the, the position. Yeah, yeah, so if you say for example well me for example, um I do Taekwondo and when I applied right. for this job I um I mentioned it because in Taekwondo you have to do a lot of teaching because it's normal that you teach the lower levels so obviously that's where I can adapt that hobby to make it really relevant for the mm -hmm. interview. I mean, okay. Things like sports as well they show that you have dedication to doing something because yeah. obviously to get good at any sport you have to practice a lot and you um, have to do things regularly which are all things that are like really great for any job position so I think I think it's important to talk about your hobbies and what you like to do I mean because like your hobbies like it's what it says you're doing it for fun so if you can put loads of dedication in and uh, a lot of effort and you're just doing it for fun like if they're paying you to do it then you're probably going to put a lot of effort in as well so I mean, that's what I think is in the tell me about yourself. Yeah. And I mean, also, if you're not sure what they want to know, just ask. I do that all the time. Like, if I don't, like, if they say, tell me about yourself, it's like, what do you want to know? Because I don't <laughs> think they'll penalize you for, like, if you want the question to be more clear, that's a good thing because it shows that you're thinking about what they're saying to you. And you're being like considerate. So, a if they want to know about like just your qualifications, and then you start telling them about your hobbies, then it's better. It's better to ask than be unsure. Is what I think. But that's what I think to the answer anyway. No, I agree. <laughs> but, don't, don't talk much about yourself, about your family about your interest. interest. Yeah. No, I mean, it's what's important.